Okay. I've debated on whether or not I should talk about this. I feel like it's a little bit, um, I don't know. I, I feel weird about it, but I'm going to talk about it because I just keep running into it and I tell people this privately and then they're like, why don't you tell everybody this? So uh, here it is. When, when my husband and I built our real estate company, you know, we were really young. Um, we did a lot of things wrong and then we did a lot of things right. We were really good at, um, I was like a master of learning things, uh, then, you know, breaking it all down and then taking action on it, which I think between that and my husband being just a most, a wonderful man who was like the non-sales salesman, it was that we made a great team and we were able to build a successful real estate company. Beyond that, we then later moved into real estate investing and we purchased um, fixers. In fact, we still do. So we would buy homes where people were having trouble and we would figure out like what is the issue that they're having and then we would help meet that need. So it wasn't always about price. A lot of times it was about terms. And at that time, you know, we started during the the big, you know, rich dad, poor dad boom. So, you know, he was on Oprah, everybody was getting into it. It was like every, you know, you bumped into everybody and they were fixing up houses or they were investing in real estate. And, and we just had had this new awakening to a way of looking at money and making it work for you instead of you working for it. It was awesome. It was a fantastic time. We loved it. We were good at it. It was right in our wheelhouse. So as we started to move into that, we actually referred out all of our, our real estate production. So if we had people that came to us because we had so much experience and built such a good reputation for selling, um, helping people buy and sell homes and investments, that, that we also had a great network of real estate agents that we were able to refer to. So, okay, so having said all that, the, the biggest thing was that, and, and even recently we've run into this where you know, when we place an ad out and we say, hey, are you looking to buy or sell a home? We can help you. Um, it felt like our ad was one among hundreds. And I remember meeting with a mentor and, and expressing that. Um, it's exactly how I feel in marketing right now. So I'm just gonna blah, I'm just gonna lay this out. So it seems like everybody's a marketer. There's been this new renaissance of marketing. And, and I've been in this industry for a really long time. I was you know, building websites for real estate agents, you know, in the 90s. So I, I've seen it all. I've been through the, the booms and the busts. And, um, and I know that there's a lot of great marketers out there. I know it because I'm connected to a lot of them. I love marketers. I think they're fantastic. And for some reason, though, as I'm talking to entrepreneurs and real estate agents about helping with marketing, one thing that I run into a lot is that they've had a tough experience with a marketer. So back to my original story, we would put ads like, hey, we want to help you buy a house or sell your house if they're trying to get out of their home. Um, and I told, my, I told my friend, hey, we're placing these ads. It just feels like we're in a sea of ads. I feel like we just sound like everybody else. And he just said, you know, that might be true. What you're doing is the same thing as a lot of other people. But you know what? If I called on your ad and you were the person on the other line, other side of the line, I'd be so grateful that you were the person that I was working with. And I know it just, I just know how good that feels. It felt good at the moment because I felt like it was authentic. Like that's really how someone felt about working with us. And, you know, I take it so seriously to that if someone trusts me to take action on something, I take, like, I, I take it like it's my own thing. I've, it's always been kind of part of my personality. I'm also really competitive. So if when my clients are my friends, and I don't tell you this because I want you to work with me or whatever. I know that there are a million great marketers that you can work with, but I just don't want you to give up. I feel like often, you know, entrepreneurs, they're on this, this busy, slow roller coaster where, oh, I'm too busy to do marketing or I'm too busy to hire a marketer. Oh, now I'm slow. Now I don't have any money to, you know what? If you want to run a business and you want to run it successfully, you're going to have to trust people and you're going to have to delegate. If you feel like time management is something that you are struggling with, you're likely not delegating well. And if you're letting fear hold you back, that's on you. Like I can't make you trust someone. It doesn't even have to be me, but just do it. Like if you are, if you're running a business, if you've, you know, studied, if you've had coaches, if you've read, um, if you've listened to speakers, you've gone to conferences, you know what it takes. And if you're, 
if fear is holding you back that you feel like someone's going to screw you or, you know, what if it doesn't work? Well, guess what? It might not. But you know what's definitely not going to work? Not taking action. So um, I just wanted to encourage you. So um, again, I was afraid to kind of just blah, put it out there. One, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing marketers. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, if you're sitting there and you're like, yeah, I just hired one and nothing happened. I, I'm just really sorry. Like, I don't, I don't, I wish I could fix it for you. Um, or if you're sitting there and you're thinking like, I, you know, like this money that I have, I have a business, like it, it's valuable and investing it in marketing is risky. You have to look at marketing as an investment similar to, you know, if you hate stocks, like, I'm sorry to use this as an analogy. It's different in a lot of ways, but it, it's similar in that you have to watch it over time. The biggest thing about marketing is like, you have to start somewhere. And then if you just like plop your money in, like, let's say you're like, I need a website. And so you're just like, you throw all your money into a website and then you're like, crap, it's not working. Well, you know, your first problem was, is your website's never done. You know, people, you, you put something out there and you're guessing what everybody is going to respond to and, and people's behavior online changes and your own audience issues change. I mean, the economy changes, uh, you know, people's place in life changes. So you need to put things out there and then you need to study it and then you need to respond. So if you're constantly reacting, just like, again, bringing stocks in, it's like you can't just like watch the stock market every day and go, oh, I lost money on that. I need to take it out. Oh, I need to put it in. You know, you have to like study it and understand it. And if you don't have the time for that, like, for example, if you're a super busy real estate agent, you shouldn't be doing this. I mean, you, if you're in real estate, you understand the concept of highest and best use. And I challenge you to you know, really take that seriously and, um, and address it and be deliberate about it. Don't be accidental. Don't, you know, be like, I'm too busy. I'm too slow. I'm too busy. I'm too slow. Like look at your business as a long-term vision and what do you want for it? And what is it going to take to make that happen? Um, and then once you're in that headspace, you can make really good decisions and then stick with it. Don't freak out and then respond to everything that everything that happens along the way. So again, I hope this helps. That was, you know, again, me being kind of raw about it. So um, I just wanted to remind you too, since, since we're here is I do have some training coming up, some live training that will be free and we'll be recording it for paid training. We'll um, also have some prizes. I'm really excited about it. It'll be mid-March um, 2019. So I'd love to have you be a part of it. Just let me know if you have any comments or questions about what I talked about today, or if you just want to jump on a call, I, I honestly would just be happy. I do a free 30 minute consultation. I've also got a power hour for 75 bucks. I mean, it's well under my rate, but just as kind of an introductory thing, um, I would love to get to know you and whether or not you work with me, I promise you're going to get a ton of value out of it. I know I learn a lot every time I talk to someone. So, um, and I, and I, I'm just hungry to talk to forward thinking people. So if that's you, you're doing me a favor by, by setting up a call. So um, thanks so much. And remember the best is yet to come.